Hello, this video will describe how to create a projectile in Unity in a 2D game. Uh, so I'll show you the basic setup and then we'll uh, deconstruct it and create it from scratch. So let's hit play. So I have just a simple square character and I have it set up so if I press the left trigger or the left mouse button, it will shoot a physics ball from that object. If I look to the right, it'll shoot to the right. If I look to the left, it'll shoot it to the left. So these are physics driven. You can always turn off the physics or the rigid body gravity and everything. Um, so there's a lot of variation to this, but this is a simple tutorial of how to create a projectile. Okay, so a couple things that I have. Where's my player? So my player, I'll have a weapon point, and that's the location of where this uh, projectile is going to shoot out of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that one, and we're going to create one from scratch. So that's going to be parented underneath the player. So let's create a new empty game object. And we're going to call this one weapon point. Weapon point. I'm going to reset my transforms and just move it over here towards the right. Now, if your character has a hand or a gun or whatnot, this is where you would position that um, the weapon point location. We could even give it a little icon to know that that's going to be our shoot location. We'll make it purple to match our square character. All right, so then what I'm going to do is take that weapon point and drag it underneath the player. So whatever the player does, the weapon point will move with it. <clears throat> okay, so next thing we're going to do is going to create the projectile itself. So let's go to the plus symbol, create 2D object, sprite, circle. You can do whatever you want here. Uh, we're going to call this one projectile. Uh, orb, something like that. I think I already got one called projectile. So we're projectile orb. Okay. I'm going to reset uh, this and let's create a new sorting layer. Let's just call this one uh, projectile. We have some other ones. Projectile. Go back to our projectile orb. Add the new projectile sorting layer to it so we can see it. Let's change the color. Maybe it's yellow, bright yellow. And let's decrease the size, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So it's much smaller. Uh, misspelled projectile, so let's correct that. Projectile, there we go. Projectile, all right. So uh, if you want to have physics applied to this, uh, we are going to add a circle collider, of course. And then we're going to add a rigid body, rigid body 2D. Um, you can still add the rigid body 2D, but you can turn off the gravity scale. So another thing I can do is uh, add some bounciness to this. So I can create a new physics material 2D. So let's go to assets, create 2D, and physics material 2D. This will allow it to bounce and have friction if I want to. So we're going to call this one Projectile Physics Mat 2D. Let it create that. All right, so let's make it really bouncy. So we're going to turn the friction down, maybe 0.2, and the bounciness up, maybe 0.8. There we go. So this will kind of bounce around a little more. And it's nice to add this to a rigid body that uh, is a projectile, and so you can make easy adjustments to that. So let's go back to our projectile orb and drag our projectile physics material into the rigid body material there. There we go. One thing we want to do is change the collision detection to continuous, make it a smoother collision. All right, so we're going to need two scripts here. Uh, the first script is going to be the weapon script of where to produce or create this projectile. Uh, and where the, that's going to create it is this weapon point. So before we do that, let's take our projectile orb object and drag this into our prefabs folder. If you don't have a prefabs folder under assets, create a folder, call it prefabs. And drag your projectile orb object into the prefabs folder. So there it is right there. So it's going to be a prefab. And then we're going to reference that in our script. So I'm going to get my scripts folder. And I think I already have one called weapon script. So I'm going to go create a new one. Create C-sharp script. Let's call this one projectile weapon script. Let it build that. All 
All right, so this first one is uh, if I press a specific button, like the shoot button or the left mouse button, um, then perform a shoot function. And a shoot function is going to produce this projectile at the location that we want it to. All right, let's open up our projectile script, projectile weapon script. All right, so we need a couple of variables at the top. So the first one is a public transform. And this is going to be my weapon uh, projectile point. So back in Unity, this is the location that we created called weapon point. Weapon projectile point. You can call it weapon point, whatever you want to do. There. The next one is I need a reference to my projectile prefab. So public game object projectile prefab. All right, so we don't need start right now, but we need update. So in update, we want to have a question to say, if the player is pressing down the left mouse button, then allow the player to be able to shoot this projectile. So if, open up parentheses, input dot get button down, and open up another parentheses. And then we're going to use a keyword here. And the left mouse button has a keyword, and it is fire one. So it's going to look like that. Uh, close quotation, close two parentheses. So if the fire one get button down, key press is created, return down and open up curly brackets, then we want to fire off a custom function that we're going to call shoot. So shoot. Okay, so we haven't created that yet, but if left mouse button is pressed down, the fire button's pressed, then shoot. So after void update, we're gonna return down and we're gonna call this one pro or void shoot. And we can open and close curly brackets. And this is where we're gonna use that instantiate function. Instantiate means create a copy of something at a specific position. So instantiate, open parentheses, what are we going to instantiate? The projectile prefab. And then where are we going to uh, copy it or instantiate it? So comma, uh, let's see, weapon projectile point dot position, comma, weapon projectile point dot rotation. In parentheses, semicolon. So this instantiate will create a copy of the projectile prefab at this position and at this rotation. And what is that position rotation? Well, that's the uh, weapon point that we created earlier. All right, so let's hit Control S to save. Let's go into Unity and let it process. And then add this script uh, to the, um, to the player. All right, so finish there. So I'm going to select the player and have a couple of the scripts on here. Let me remove the previous weapon script. And let's find this. Uh, what do we call it? Projectile script. Let's see, let's go back. Projectile weapon script. Yep, projectile weapon script. Okay, so let's find the player and drag our projectile weapon script to the player. Okay. So we're looking for two references. So I need a reference to the weapon point. So here's our weapon point object. Let's drag that into weapon projectile point. And then I need a reference to my projectile. So here's my projectile. Drag that into a projectile prefab. All right. <clears throat> I don't need my projectile in my hierarchy anymore because I got a prefab for it. So we can delete it from the hierarchy. Let's save. And if we hit play, it's going to create it in that weapon point location. Me, but there's no, going to be no force applied to it. So if I hit the left mouse button, it's going to create it in that location and it's just going to fall down. So there's no uh, force applied to it. Here's where the second script comes into play. So I'm going to go to a scripts folder and I'm going to right click and choose create new script. And what are we going to call this one? Uh, we'll say projectile movement script okay 
Here we go. Let it process. So this one we're going to add velocity because the projectile has a rigid body associated with it. And we're going to add velocity change to that in uh, the right direction. So let's open up that script. We need a couple variables in our projectile movement script. So we need a public float, and this is going to be how fast it is. We're going to call this one speed. And we're going to set an initial speed, so equals 20f. Okay, and then where it's public, so we can edit this in Unity if we want it to go faster or slower. We need a reference to the rigid body, so public rigid body 2D, and we'll locally call it RB. All right, so in void start, we need a reference or connect that reference so everything can work. Okay, so in void start, we're going to do our reference our rigid body rb dot velocity equals transform dot right. We want it to shoot towards the right of the character. Times our speed variable. That's it. So there's our simple script. We need to reference our rigid body, and we're going to determine how fast this object is going to move in the right direction, which is going to be called speed. And we're going to add that to the velocity of the rigid body of our projectile. So let's save. And let's go into Unity, let it process. All right, so we need to go into our prefab. And our prefab for our projectile, projectile orb, this is where we add our script. So we find our script. And I gotta see what we called it. I forgot again. Projectile movement script. Weapon projectile movement script. There it is, fourth one. Okay. So let's go into our prefab and go to our scripts again. Projectile movement script. There you go. So we have the default speed of 20. I need to drag the rigid body component from the projectile into the rigid body reference there. Okay, so let's save. And let's back up and hit play. So now when I shoot, it's going to shoot it from that weapon position or weapon point. Okay. And if I shoot, now I have a velocity. So it can shoot outward towards the right. Okay. All right, the last thing we can do is to be able to give the ability to uh, move the character to shoot towards the right, or if I move it towards the left, shoot towards the left. I already had it set up in here, so in my player movement script, let's go see if we can open that up. Player movement script here. Um, let's see, fixed update, fixed update. I'm going to remove this out, and I'll show you what it looks like without it. So save, and let's go back into Unity. So as default, it's not going to have the option to shoot towards the right and towards the left because we set it up with the projectile script uh, so that it only shoots towards the right direction. So if I hit play, I can only shoot towards the right even if I'm moving towards the left. Now that works for continuously right side scrolling games. Uh, but if I move towards the left, I can't shoot towards the left. It's still going to shoot towards the right. So this variation will give you the option to look towards the left and shoot towards the left, or look towards the right and shoot towards the right, depending on if I'm pressing A to move left or D to move right. So I have a player movement script, and in my fix update script, and I have a couple other previous videos that discuss how uh, my movement is set up. But in my fix update script, I want to see if my move horizontal, which is how my player is pressing uh, the horizontal axis keys, A to move left or D to move right. I already have this attribute called move horizontal, which is storing if I'm pressing A or D. And that's a positive or negative. So if it is uh, a positive value, that's moving towards the right. The D key is pressed. If it's a negative value, then that means I'm moving towards the left, which means the A key is pressed. So with that knowledge, I want to add a couple of if statements here. So if open up parentheses, move horizontal is less than zero, 
less than zero. Uh, return down, open up some curly brackets. Then I want to um, move towards the left. So if it's less than zero, it's a negative value. That means I'm moving towards the left. The A key is pressed. Then I want to flip or rotate my character so it's facing the opposite direction. And the way that we can do that is with transform.euler angles, which is the rotational angle of the object, equals new vector three. And we need our x, y, and z rotate. So 0, f. And how it'll be a 0, f, 0, f, 0, f. So the first 0 is the x rotate. The second 0 is the y. The third is the z. What we need to adjust is the middle one. Uh, so we're going to do 180. You can put f beside if you want to. Uh, to make sure it's consistent with the other ones. So we want to flip it around 180 degrees in the y axis if we're moving towards the left, as in if the A key is pressed. And then we want an else if after that, else if, open up parentheses, move horizontal is greater than zero. That means if we are moving towards the right, if the D key is pressed. Then we want to do transform dot, uh, oh, sorry, did I say Euler, uh, Euler, 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 Euler angles. Um, Euler angles equals new vector 3 and then this time we want it to be 0 F 0 F 0 F so if that's the case we're moving towards the right keep the character facing towards the right and allow us to shoot towards the right this first one is shoot towards the left the second one is shoot towards the right so if we save that this is on the player movement script if we go back into unity now I should be able to shoot towards the right if I'm looking towards the right, or shoot towards the left if I'm looking towards the left. So let's play. All right, so I can shoot towards the right if I'm looking that way, and I can hit the D key to move towards the right. If I move towards the left with the A key, now I can shoot towards the left. So now I can shoot either way depending on which direction I am moving. So it's a quick and easy way to uh, create a projectile. If you don't want to have gravity, you can hit pause and go to the projectile prefab, turn off gravity scale of zero, go back and hit play, and then now the, the projectile will not fall down. It'll still collide and hit with things, but it won't fall down. There we go. So it will start colliding with things and bouncing back and forth, but gravity's not going to take a hold of it. If you don't want it to collide with everything, uh, we can go back into that prefab and we can turn on with the circle collider uh, is trigger. So if we go back and hit play. Now it should shoot through objects. Here we go. So the physics is not being applied to this projectile at all. And that's the way we can see if it's colliding with an enemy to deal damage to an enemy. But those are some different ways to create a projectile uh, within a 2D game in Unity.